the Illinois Environmental Protection Act, and this is the this is the one law in Illinois that includes um, environmental regulation. It's important to note, kind of interesting to note that the office that I work in is within the state's Economic Development Agency. We don't, we, we are not a regulatory agency, um, so our mission is a bit different than uh, the EPA in that uh, our goal is to um, stimulate and grow the infrastructure for recycling and waste reduction in Illinois. And um, we, you know some of the outcomes that we look at are, are jobs and um, increasing uh, tax revenue for, for local governments and, and the state governments by um, advancing businesses. We also work with uh, not-for-profit organizations and we also work with uh, local governments. But this is where the environmental regulations land are in the Illinois Protection Act. It's a big piece of legislation and it's written into different chapters and sections. Uh, um, but I'm going to be focusing on just the solid waste uh, com components of that. Uh, it require, <laughs> this legislation requires um, the issuance of permits for pollution control facilities such as landfills, transfer stations, and some composting sites. Um, again, uh, recycling centers, if they're not t picking garbage, uh, or recyclables out of the garbage, there's no requirement in Illinois that they be permitted. Um, another important aspect of this law is that it establishes fees that support both uh, DCOs uh, and the EPA's um, solid waste management related programs. Under the law, the state tipping fee surcharge, and that's basically a uh, a tax that's placed on the amount of material placed in landfills in Illinois. And it's written as um, a matrix for both cubic yards and per ton. Um, it's, it's $2 per ton, 95 cents per cubic yard. Uh, in addition, there's a subtitle D fee added and um, of about 20, of 22 cents per ton. So when we refer to the local state tipping fee, it is often referred to as being $2.22 a ton. The money generated from this fee is specifically dedicated uh, to the, from the subtitle D fee, is, is dedicated to the Illinois EPA. Um, the, the, the revenue generated from the $2 tipping fee is deposited into the Solid Waste Management Fund. Um, I've listed the, ref the number of the fund for the state comptroller. If you're interested, you can always go out and find out how much that generates um, and uh, see how we um, spend that money. DCEO and EPA share this fund, and this money is our sole source, DCEO's sole source, um, for our waste reduction and recycling related activities. Another thing that's included, in, in kind of important are specific bans from landfills in Illinois and over the last 23-24 years uh, there's been several items banned from the landfills uh, including yard waste which is uh, grass and leaves and yard trimmings also uh, car batteries waste tires problem with tires is, is that if they're buried in the landfill the property of that rubber it just makes over time they kind of move to the top and um, when landfills are capped they can break through those caps and cause problems so those tire waste tires are whole tires are banned from landfills white goods were um, another item that was banned those are your large appliances like uh, refrigerators and air conditioners those contain a lot of hazardous materials and mercury switches things like that used oil was banned and most recently, um, electronic products, and that is in a different law um, that was created, um, a totally totally brand new law when it was in, enacted, but it's also worth mentioning it, that it, it, those materials are banned. Um, covered electronic devices, including computers and monitors and TVs and printers, um, were banned effective January 1st, 2012. 
That law also stipulates that recyclers of electronic scrap must register with the Illinois EPA. So if, you, if you're looking to where can you recycle your old computer, you can go out to the Illinois EPA website and find um, a reference uh, by community. It's worth noting that there are specific requirements for colleges, uh, state funded colleges and universities. Those would be the state uh, colleges, uh, or st uh, community college, and, and also the state uh, universities um, in Illinois. And those requirements are contained within the Illinois Solid Waste Management Act, and it requires um, each of those institutions to develop a 10 year comprehensive waste reduction plan. Those initial plans were due in 19, uh, uh, January 1st of 1995 and are required to be updated every five years. Next updates are due in January of 2015. Just a little plug that uh, we ask that you please support your school's waste reduction and recycling efforts. Further, that law requires that each, each, each co um, college and university plan contain provisions designed to achieve a 40% reduction um, from a base year of 1987. So it's a little different than um, the mandate that's placed on counties to develop plan. Um, whereas um, there's a 25% goal for counties, there's a 40% reduction goal for um, colleges and universities. And the 40% can be achieved through activities including recycling, composting, and source reduction. Um, Plans must also evaluate the institution's procurement policies and practices to eliminate procedures uh, or processes which discriminate against items with recycled content. You know, there was a saying a number of years ago that I think is still true. If you're not buying recycled content products, you're not really recycling. And the products that are um, material that are collected um, need to have a market. And um, the more we can develop and support recycled content products, uh, the better recycling is going to be in general. So let's, last thing I want to kind of get into here, or you know, hear the end of, is what about state government? What kind of requirement is there for us to recycle? And actually there are. Um, this is not legislation, but each governor has the authority to direct the agencies under its control um, to do specific things, and they and, the, and that's done through an executive order. And every governor that I've worked with under since uh, Governor Thompson has implemented some type of an executive order that addresses recycling, waste reduction, um, and more recently in 2009. Governor Quinn signed an executive order to reduce the environmental impacts of Illinois state government and, and focus more on sus a whole sustainable approach to that. Some of the interesting points in, in this uh, executive order are that it requires agency employees to incorporate waste prevention and recycling into their daily practice. And they are, they are required as part of their duty to, re to participate in recycling programs that are available to them. So that's re and it's an expectation of a state employee is that if you have a recycling bin that you should be using it. Um, state, the state of Illinois is committed to conserving and, and, this, and this executive order goes on to other areas besides recycling but um, it talks about uh, preventing uh, water waste and air and land pollution and minimizing you know, greenhouse gases. So it's a pretty comprehensive, sustainable um, order that, that, that's placed on state employees. Moving forward, and I, I do want to note that um, there's still room for improvement with recycling and waste reduction in Illinois. A, a study that we commissioned in 2008 revealed uh, a lot of economic impacts of recycling and it showed that it's creating lots of jobs. But another thing that, that we also showed um, was that 
there's still almost 620 million dollars worth of material, recyclable material, being landfilled every year in Illinois. There's a tremendous opportunity um, to, to gather and, and capture that material and make money off of it. Um, again, we're housed in an economic development agency. Um, if, if recycling is going to make it, of course, it's got to, it makes uh, environmental sense, but it also has to make um, economic sense. But recently, uh, last, last General Assembly, we'll see the Public Act 97, and that was the last General Assembly. Uh, that was 2012 this bill was passed. Um, and I've referenced the, the House bill that created this Public Act. And I also listed, the, a lot of times you'll see a name after a House bill. That's the main sponsor of the legislation. In this case, it was uh, Representative May, um, up from Lake County area, who sponsored this. This bill created, or in now law, um, creates the Task Force on the Advancement of Materials Recycling. It was, crea it was created to review the status of recycling and solid waste management planning in Illinois. And its goal is to investigate and provide recommendations for expanding waste reduction, recycling, reuse, and composting in a manner that protects the environment as well as public health and safety and promotes economic development. Uh, some of the things that we're, we're specifically getting into with the task force um, is county recycling and waste management planning. Is that the right way that Illinois should go? Uh, some people believe that there should be a state plan versus a, each county having individual plans. That will be discussed and, and, and delved into. Um, we're going to look at all the current and potential policies and initiatives for, for waste reduction and recycling and composting. We're going to look at funding for those programs and for local oversight and regulation of solid waste activities. You know, some of the things that the Illinois EPA does is they run household hazardous waste collection programs. That's another important um, focus of this task force. Um, you know, we, we also need to figure out how we can capture that, that what you know, a larger portion of that six hundred and twenty million dollars worth of material going to landfills. That first meeting for this task force is June eighteenth, um, and a report is due within two years of the legislation being. Um, active and that was uh, January 1st of this year so it, the, the report will be due January 1st of 2015 actually. Uh, I hope that you've taken some time to understand the, the there are a number of different bills in Illinois that affect uh, recycling policy and waste reduction policy and solid waste management policy in Illinois. You know, there's not just one law, there are several different laws three main laws that I referenced in, the, in this presentation, um, but there are other laws that, that impact that. Um, it can be a little bit tricky and, and hard to understand, but if you can go back and look at how to decode uh, some of the references to bills and laws and public acts, I think um, you, you'll be better off for that. You'll have a better understanding maybe moving forward in some future classes to uh, delve into specific issues. And, and use uh, use those laws to kind of use those as a resource uh, for your future studies. I wish you uh, the best with your coursework, and um, I again encourage you to recycle and reduce as much waste as possible. Thank you.